Good morning students welcome to the virtual class of Gyaniketan Girls School Today we are going to start a new to uh, topic in civics that is constitutional design Now in previous chapter we already have studied that in a democracy the rulers are not free to do what they like there are certain basic rules and regulations which the citizens and the government have to follow and all these together are called constitution so now in this chapter we are going to deal with the constitutional design which if which already uh, which has been evolved from the word constitution and how it is designed here we will relate with the constitution of south africa just for an example now nelson mandela with seven other leaders were sentenced to life imprisonment in 1964 for daring to oppose to apartheid regime in his country and was charged for treason now what do we mean by treason treason anyone who go against the country or uh, do something uh, against the country is charged with treason so he was charged with treason and was to spend 28 years in prison of south america that is africa that is robben island now when we if we are talking about nelson mandela so who was nelson mandela see he was the prominent nationalist leader in south africa and worked for the independence of south africa as here in our country gandhi ji worked for independence of our country now uh, Nelson Mandela was very much influenced by the ideas of Gandhi ji so he followed him he was inspired by him and followed his ideals and ideologies what Gandhi ji spoke now Nelson Mandela rose rose his voice against apartheid regime for getting freedom now here the term came apartheid what do we mean by apartheid what is ap apartheid see apartheid is a policy or uh, of racial discrimination or or we can say um, a racial discrimination that is promoted by white government that is the britishers on basis of skin color okay so why people struggle here why in south africa people struggle against apartheid why people were against apartheid regime see basically there were three skin color people found in south africa that were white black and colored the white were the one who were from britain the black were the one who were the natives of south africa and the colored were the indian or other people who worked in south africa so here what it was seen that discrimination were seen against the group of colored and black and these two groups collectively were known as non whites so they were discriminated on basis of their um, of their color for example all the resources were used only for whites the government was run by the white that is minority government and all the work were done for their benefits and black were ignored as they suffered a lot just because of the white britishers now the racial discrimination were imposed by these whites who settled in south africa and later became local rulers so there were uh, different problems seen which were faced by the non whites that is the blacks and the colored what were now what were the problems see the whites uh, ruler were treated non were treated by the non whites as inferior and they were also not given any kind of voting rights this was the first problem secondly they were forbidden from living in white areas that is i mean uh, they were not allowed to live in the area where whites lived next was they cannot work in uh, white area without permit means non white uh, all um, it was seen that non white people that is black and the colored they were doing all sort of work that was that was included in small work like 
plumber or uh, we can say cleaning garbage all these were the work which was carried on by non on by non whites and if they had to go to the white area by chance by any chance means they needed permit to go in those area next problem was that that public places and transport were separate for black and whites like buses trains schools libraries colleges beaches etc these were separate for these two groups that is white and non whites and this was called the policy of segregation segregation means separate they could not even visit the churches where the white worshiped so this was also a main problem seen uh, by the non whites now in this white had all the well equipped facilities whereas the facilities provided for black were very poor or uh, there were not no facilities provided for the non white so all these were the problem faced by the natives of south africa now why didn't they oppose why why since they were seeing that the, there were so many problems which they were facing just because of the whites so why didn't they oppose it was so because uh, apart from all these problem there was also a problem which said that they were not allowed to protest against this credible treatment which were being given by the white to the non white so they were not protesting because it was not allowed by in uh, at that time so all these situation were seen see although they tried once since uh, to raise their voice uh, they tried once and protested against the discrimination with them now who did this discrimination who were the one who did this discrimination there was a party anc that is african national congress so they launched march and st uh, strikes the this anc was an umbrella organization that led to the struggle against the policy of segregation now what is umbrella organization see a party which have been uh, formed by submerging many small parties that is known as umbrella organization so all these parties launched protest against the racial discrimination and it was sponsored by the white government also means there were some white people who supported these non whites in this strikes and marches so protest rose but were ultimately suppressed by the whites the other whites who were against them it was suppressed by them because the power were in the hand of the whites okay so these were the things that were seen while they were in uh, south africa in their own country they faced problem they were uh, they were means they were suppressed by the whites the britishers now how towards a new constitution how they moved towards a new constitution see as protest and struggle against apartheid uh, had uh, increased the government realized they thought that they could no longer longer keep the blacks under their rule through repression because they were seeing that they were not raising their voice so as the protest strengthened the policy of the white resigned changed they started to change their policy and because the intensity of the demand by the non whites were increasing day by day they saw that it was increasing day by day means they have to change their policy and slowly the white policies became lenient and and the behavior and the attitude of whites were also changed now how how it changed see all the discriminatory uh, discriminatory law which were uh, were repealed that is all the law that were against the non whites and uh, in a sense uh, discriminated them were removed by the whites now ban on political parties and restrictions on media were also removed by the white in order to show their leniency now finally nelson finally a step was taken by them that nelson mandela was released after 28 years of imprisonment and with coming of nelson mandela a uh, 
a new direction was set in south africa for independence movement means they were now much more strengthened to get their independence so uh, the demand were kept forward in many uh, more systematic way when nelson mandela mandela came out of prison uh, for the discriminatory system and unjust system uh, to be removed so finally on 26th april 1994 south africa got freedom from the apartheid and new system uh, new uh, nation new nation was um, new sorry new national flag of uh, republic in south africa was unfurled means it was seen that a new flag was seen in south africa that was a democratic south africa now nelson mandela became the first president after this uh, struggle with the whites and he declared to form a multiracial government means till now uh, till up till now it was seen that white had dominance and power where non whites were discriminated but when nelson mandela formed a multiracial government here people of all races were uh, were asked to be a part of government and they will work together in order to form a new south africa now apartheid system here it was seen that apartheid system was removed that is a law have been removed from south africa it was a law that was initiated by the whites in south africa and when the whites were defeated it was seen that this law were removed but now people also need to change their mindset in order to change the country the people mindset also needed to be changed so what was the result of all these that was seen in south africa see all the black leaders that is since majority of leaders were black it's that's why it is seen that all the black leaders decided to forgive the whites for the atrocity that they had committed while they were in power so because uh, they thought that uh, someone have to be generous to bring peace in country so he they decided that they will forgive the white now they said that to build new uh, south africa on basis of equality they have to move together so now black and white they sat together to draw up a common constitution for south africa now black did not uh, draw the constitution by themselves but included all the whites and other to draw the constitution as they wanted to work on basis of equality and also came up with a constitution that was inclusive and cooperative means everyone's idea were cooperated included in that constitution it was not seen that uh, since black was were having the majority means they drafted the constitution no each and every one participated in drafting the constitution now after 2 years of debate they came out with one of the finest constitution the world has ever had here one of the fi finest constitution is seen be uh, said because there are more constitution which uh, comes among the finest which include indian constitution also so this constitution was one of the finest constitution that uh, world have ever had which gave its citizen the most extensive right available in any country so the south african constitution inspired democrats all over the world and from this we can conclude that forming a constitution is a tough work and it's need to be formed with equality uh, including diversity and forgetting differences and grievances so all these were carved beautifully in south africa's constitution which was just a basic introduction introduction to understand constitutional design of india now moving forward we will see that why do a country or why do we need a constitution in order to run a country that we will see in next video if you find any doubt please do ask and thank you and have a nice day